Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi and here I like to talk about Luxury Beauty. Today we are talking about the new Burberry holiday collection. So this is called the Monogram Collection. They have released a new limited edition eyeshadow palette. Everything in the Monogram Collection has kind of the silver on the top with the Burberry Monogram and the bottom half of everything will be gold. So here are the lipsticks. There are three lipsticks. They are in the Burberry Kisses Satin Formula. I picked up all three of those. And there's also a limited edition eyeshadow palette. It does come with a piece of plastic here you can pull off. And I've used this quite a bit now. So uh, this is what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous. So we have a mix of different finishes here. There's metallics, satins, mattes. This champagne shade is called a mist. It's more of your, it's not really a topper, but it's a little bit more of a sheer shade. And I think it's a really beautiful palette. Uh, so this is going to have an 18 month shelf life and it's 20 grams of product. It's made in Italy. And I have to say there has been a price increase since the last palette like this that came out. The last one was called the Runway Palette. That's this one here. It came out, sold out pretty much immediately, so it was really hard to get, but this was also the same size, 20 grams, made in Italy with an 18 month shelf life. Formulas feel to be the same between the two palettes, and these are the shades in there. So let's put these side by side. All right, so these are the two palettes side by side. This is the new monogram, and this is the runway palette. And yeah, so this is what we have here. And we'll compare a few shades between these two palettes that have kind of the same name. And I do have some other comparisons for this palette as well. And let's go ahead and take a look at some swatches. So these are the first three shades here. And one of the things I like about the Burberry palette is it does have the names of all of the shadows on the back. So... And this is the bottom row. So although they are clear about the, the names, I do think some of the names, they just don't really quite see. I apologize for the background noise. It seriously happens like for about 10 hours a day right now. It's leaf cleanup in the neighborhood. It's just going all the time between everybody's different landscapers. But anyway, as I was saying about these shades, they do have all of the names. They're on the back of the palette but they are also on the box and it also tells you the finish of them, which I think is very helpful. I don't necessarily agree with the way all of these were named. Uh, for example, this first shade here is gold. It's a metallic, but to me, it's definitely much more of a copper shade. There's definitely kind of that reddish orange vibe to it. Then this next one here is bronze. It's a satin. That one's actually a bit more apt, but again, still not exactly bronze to me. And then we have a matte brown. This is gonna be a warm brown. You can see you definitely have a bit of that reddish tan base to it. Next one here is Midnight, which is a satin. This is kind of a really dark gray with brown in it. So not quite a taupe, which is what we typically think of with brown mixed with gray, but it's going to be more of that charcoal gray with a bit, you can see as I move my arm, a bit of a rich brown in there. I think it's really beautiful. It's one of my favorite shades in the palette. Next up, we have Champagne, which is the mist shade. So this is a little bit more sheer than some of the others, but you can see it definitely has pigment. It's one that you can definitely wear on its own. Next, we have Copper, Metallic. Notice gold and copper. Copper is gonna be a little bit more orange, but they're really not that different. They're both gonna be a metallic formula as well. Next up, we have Deep Brown, which is a matte, and you can see this is gonna be a richer, cooler brown than the brown shade here, but it's still going to, it, it's neutral, but it leans slightly warm. Next one here, it looks green, but it's called Golden Brown. And this is going to be a satin shade. And then last up we have rose gold and metallic. And really this is much more of a rose champagne than a rose gold in my opinion. So just as for the finishes, gold is a metallic, bronze is a satin. Then we have brown as a matte, midnight is a satin, champagne is mist, copper metallic, deep brown is matte, golden brown is satin, and rose gold is metallic.
So let's talk a little bit about this palette while we are looking at some demos. And the first few demos here, I was just kind of playing around with it, kind of quickly to show you guys some of the different colors and how the colors appear on the lid with, you know, using brushes versus fingers. And you can see that in one of the demos here, I actually, you know, kind of show you how light you can get, like the green shade, the golden brown. And, you know, so these are really going to be shades that you can definitely sheer out with a brush and you can also build them up. So you can build them up with a brush or with a finger. Like it's such a creamy, versatile formula that it's really easy to build up the color. And as you can see in the demo, like putting things in the crease, it's a little challenging just because they're very pigmented. So that's actually um, one of the, it's not really a complaint, but I do wish that they had a lighter matte shade in here. However, you know, the shades in here, I do think that the majority of the shades are gonna work well for a variety of skin tones. So I think that's really good. They do have lighter shades in here, they just happen to be a little bit more sparkly. So I would have liked to have a lighter shade, but it's not a big deal. It's not like I don't have other makeup that I can use with it, but for, and you know, I did all of these looks without it. So, you know, that's just like a, a minor thing. Uh, favorite colors in here? I have to say my favorite color would be the golden brown, that beautiful green. I also love the midnight shade. I think that one's a very versatile and the rose gold, which, you know, in the palette, if you're looking at the pan, it actually looks more like a silvery taupe and it looks a little bit different once you actually put it on. So you're gonna have a little bit more of that rosy champagne kind of look on the skin, but in the pan, it definitely looks cooler than it is. So just something to note, that one does look a little bit different in the pan. Overall, I would have to say these colors are incredibly vibrant. The formula is very smooth. It's silky. It's creamy, but not that like wet creamy that you get with certain shadows. It's really more just like silk. So, I mean, it's definitely one of the best eyeshadow formulas in my opinion. I absolutely love the Burberry eyeshadow formula. And it's just, it's gorgeous. So I would highly recommend this palette if you are interested in these colors. That being said, I do think that this palette, the color story is kind of similar to some others. Now, Isamaya French, she is the creative director at Burberry and she was previously the creative director at Byredo as well. Or, well, she was collaborating there. So one of the items that she came out with was the Byredo Disco palette. And honestly, this palette looks kind of like an expanded version of Disco with a green thrown in. So, you know, there are some, there are definitely some similarities to some other palettes out there. So you may already have these colors in your collection. I have to say though, the formula on these is really incredible. So absolutely love the formula. Now, just a few things about the actual palette material itself. It does feel to be a plastic palette. You know, um, it's a little bit heavier duty. It's nice. You do have a full size mirror inside and it has a click closure, so it will stay securely closed. There is no place for a brush or any utensils or anything, which personally for me, I like that. I would rather, you know, conserve the space and not get those extra like brushes and applicators that I never use. So I think overall, it's a really nice palette. And this is the same size. If you have the Essentials Glow palette, the face palette, that is the same size as the eye palettes. Uh, so, you know, they all store very well together as well. Now, sometimes with Burberry, something with the same name is going to be the same color. And in some cases, it's going to be different. So let's take a look here at the Runway palette, which is this one here. And if we're looking at this, this shade here is brown matte. So this shade up here in the monogram palette is brown matte. You can see already that it's going to be much warmer looking in the monogram. So let's just swatch the two of those together so you can see the difference. You can see that the one in the runway palette is going to be cooler and there's definitely more of that reddish orange kind of clay type color in the monogram shade. Now this shade here is gold metallic and this shade here is gold metallic. Again, you can see that these are going to look a bit different, 
but let's go ahead and swatch these together so we can kind of see those. So you can see that, you know, the one in the runway, that's really more of a true gold, whereas the one here in the monogram really is much more coppery. So those are the only two shades that have the same name between both palettes. And you can see that they are gonna be different shades. And really looking at both of them, these palettes are going to have, you know, different vibes. This definitely leans, you've got like more of that red and burgundy mixed in here, along with some cooler neutrals. Whereas this, you've got some warmer neutral shades and then you have some pops of cooler tones. So in a way, they're, they're a little bit opposite. Let's take a look at the Byredo Disco palette. So this is Disco, and it is an amazing palette. I love the formula of the Byredo shadows in these little nuggets or oysters. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch all five shades down here at the bottom. You can see these are gonna be very creamy. There is a difference in texture between those and the Byredo though. They're both gonna be very creamy, uh, textures. However, the Burberry is going to be a little bit more refined, a little bit silkier, whereas you can see these are going to be a little bit chunkier here. So looking at it, you can see that, you know, these shades do tend to run, you've got a little bit more, a little bit more like that burgundy red in there. But looking at the color story, I don't know about you, but to me, it strikes me as a pretty similar basis for the color story. Another palette I wanted to compare here, this is the Tom Ford Velour Khaki. And these are creme shadows. These are going to have a, um, they're like a drier uh, cream to powder type formula. Very silky, but more along the powdery lines. You can see this palette's gonna have a bit more of a green vibe, but take a look here. This shade here compared to Midnight, this is gonna be a lighter version. It's a little bit more pewter than Midnight, which has more charcoal. And again, you've got kind of got a little bit of that rich brown. And this golden brown here is a bit more of a metallic version or satin version rather of this one. So you can see when I move my arm, the golden brown shade in the Burberry palette, you can see a bit of that golden reflect, which you don't get from the Tom Fords. And then this is the Bobbi Brown Jade Stone palette. I think this is a really great alternative to purchasing the Burberry palette. We're just gonna swatch a few of these shades that look pretty similar. Let's start off with this brown one here. So we're gonna put that right here next to the deep brown shade. Now, formula-wise, the Burberry is gonna be creamier, it's gonna be silkier, the Bobbi Brown is more of a traditional powder. We're gonna take a look at this shade here, this uh, Champagne Quartz Metallic. We'll put that one right here by the champagne you can see it's kind of a mix of the champagne and the copper and let's take a look at this green one here from the bobby brown and we're going to put that right here you can see that this is going to be a little bit cooler in tone it doesn't really have that gold reflect but they are going to be fairly similar so you know overall this color story you can get a very similar color story to the Burberry. Your finishes, however, are not gonna be as strongly metallic or shiny or anything like that. Your finishes are different. But if you're looking specifically for the colors, I do think that you can replicate the colors for the most part with the Bobbi Brown Jade Stone palette. So overall, you're going to, if you have any of these palettes, you're going to have similar shades in your collection already. Really the decision comes down to the finish and the formula. And again, the Burberry formula is incredible. I, it's really great. Now, um, one thing to note though, is it is a limited edition palette and it will probably go fairly quickly. Now the runway palette, when that came out, that came and went like immediately. This has stuck around a little bit longer so far. They have restocked already. So hopefully they have more supply of this one. Now let's move on to lipsticks. All right, so the Burberry Kisses lipsticks, these are their satin formula. We have 3.3 grams of product. These are made in Italy and there's a two year shelf life. So there are three shades that came out. And again, we have the Burberry kind of logo here. You've got the Burberry monogram on the lid. These are going to have a magnetic closure and they stack really nicely in a drawer. So that's where I store mine. First up, we have 93 Russet, and let's go ahead and put that right here. So this is one 
swatch of it and let's just kind of go back and forth right next to it. So you can see how that'll build up. It's a really beautiful satin shade here. This, although it's called russet, it is kind of a bit of a warm toned rosewood. It's almost, almost like rosewood and terracotta mixed together. I really like it. I think it's a pretty unique shade. And, um, you know, some of these shades, actually all of them might even be available in the regular line. I know that this next one here, 109 Military Red, this is one of the classic Burberry shades. I actually do have one in the permanent line to swatch. We'll see if that looks the same or not. This is 109 Military Red in the Holiday Edition. And then 120 Olympia Red. This is what's on my lips. So you can see you know, doesn't it look, it looks more like a, a burgundy shade here, a little bit richer, more, you know, like a burgundy red, but look how it swatches. This is definitely going to be a much more vibrant fuchsia purple shade. You've kind of got electric pink mixed with plum in here. So these are the three holiday shades. And I have to say, I really like them. My favorite would have to be the Olympia red followed by russet and then military red. Let's talk a little bit about the formula on these as we go over the lip swatches. And I have to say, I do really like the Burberry Kisses formula. I think it's a really great formula. It's smooth and creamy on the lips. It's going to be kind of like a light to medium weight texture. So even when you build it up, it still feels pretty weightless on the lips. It is going to be a satin formula, which, you know, as as we know, they typically don't have the longest, you know, wear time before fading. And that's going to be true. This will be average wear time. So four hours or so, and then you're probably going to reapply or touch up. If you do want to extend the wear of these, you know, definitely blot, powder, reapply, and you know, you can kind of extend the wear. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons. Now we're gonna start off with the 109 Military Red in the permanent line. And we're gonna swatch this right down below here. So let's see how that goes. And what do you think? So you can see that these are going to be the same color. You know, my older one looks ever so slightly more pink, but it's probably just a batch issue. I would say that they are the same. Honestly, I went to bought the holiday one, but I had misplaced this one and thought I didn't have it. It ended up being in the wrong drawer. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. I do wanna do a couple comparisons here with the Olympia Red. And this is the Guerlain Holiday shade in 777. Let's go ahead and put a swatch of that right here. This is gonna be a velvet, but you can see that the color here is pretty much the same. I mean, look at that. The colors are almost a spot on match. This is the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Orchid. We're gonna put that right up here. This is gonna be your, your glossy, shinier finish. You can see this one's gonna have a bit more purple in it. This is Clay de Peau and number five, Camellia. So I wanted to compare that to the uh, russet shade. You can see that this is going to have a bit more pink in there. It's actually more of a melony shade, melon. And <laughs> so then we've got uh, 1925 from Guerlain. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put this one right up here above Military Red. And you can see that those are, that's pretty much, that's close to a dupe. So I would say if you've been looking for this shade in Legendary Red, check out Military Red in Burberry. So this is a Guerlain Legendary Red in 1925. It comes in satin or velvet. And the Military Red, I think, also comes in satin or matte on the Burberry website. So that's a good alternative there. And then last up, this is Hermes. This is going to be a matte in Rouge Sanabra. And you can see this is going to be definitely more red. So I have to say overall, I think Burberry did an outstanding job on this year's holiday collection. Everything is exquisite. You've got fantastic formulas, great colors. Everything performs beautifully, holds up well. Packaging's good. You know, I can't think of any negatives really. So I think overall, this is a really fantastic collection. Everything is limited edition. I'll leave the links down below in the description box. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you picked anything up. 
And thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you again and have a wonderful day.